Y'all get ready? Yes, you get ready. Shout out to all my tea sippers out there. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your tea cups ready because you already know this tea is what? Piping hot. All right, you guys, so we got to talk about the Real Housewives of New Jersey. So if you've been a tea sipper for a number of years, you guys already know. I've been a fan and I've watched the Real Housewives of New Jersey from day one, okay? Be gay, nice Be gay, nice Along with the Real Housewives of Atlanta. I also used to kind of keep it with New York and the OC, but they were not my favorite. The Potomac ladies, I just can't. I've tried. I just can't get into the Real Housewives of Potomac, okay? And Dallas was a flop. But New Jersey and Atlanta have always been my favorite. I've been watching from day one. So everyone's been hitting me up wanting me to talk about the whole situation that went down on Watch What Happens Live with Andy Cohen. And y'all know how I feel about Andy Cohen, honey, okay? So basically, Andy Cohen um, decided to interview Teresa Judice and Joe Judice, who just recently got out of prison. He served like three years. Teresa served 15 months, and this was like two years ago. She's been out now. And Joe recently got deported back to Italy. And so this entire situation was crazy. Teresa was in the studio with Andy Cohen. Joe was in Italy via satellite. And he was asking a lot of hard-hitting questions, okay? And he was talking about, you know, um, them doing the show. Did they cheat on each other? And one of the regrets that Joe said he had was doing the show. He said before he went on this show, his life was fine. Had he never gotten on this show, it wouldn't have been like a huge microscope on him and his wife. Four-time New York Times bestseller. You're, you are, you're famous, you're infamous. Uh, you have, the show has afforded you uh, great things. With it has come a lot of trauma and drama. Do the two of you regret being on the show? Do you regret this whole thing? You, there's, a, there's a possibility that without it, you two would be in Jersey together. You know what? I don't. Oh, Teresa always wanted to be on television. <laughs> she always wanted to be a movie star since she was a little girl. Do you regret it, so, Joe? I mean, she got her wish, which is good. Joe, do yeah, you? Yeah, I tell you the truth, I wish I never would have done it. Yeah, I wish I never would have done it. I had a great life before. You know, the show actually just brought a lot of attention to us. You know what I mean? Yeah, it did. Just having a house like that alone just brings a lot of attention. I've never had so many damn lawsuits in my life till after I got on that show. So, I mean, did it change my life? Yes. Did it change Teresa's life? Who knows? Then they get to talking about an old flashback of Carolyn Manzo, who used to be a part of the show as well. And Carolyn is basically saying that, you know, I can see Joe going to prison and, um, you know, Teresa and Joe getting a divorce. So this was like five years ago when Carolyn said that. And of course what happened, they got raided by the feds and Joe did time. They weren't paying their taxes. They owed a bunch of money. They were doing all types of fraudulent activity. And so basically she then insinuated that Carolyn or Jacqueline Lorita were the ones who caught the feds on her and Joe Judai. So this entire situation is a hot damn mess, honey. Y'all go ahead and watch this clip and I'm gonna come back with the rest of my commentary. You know, there was a moment on the show years ago, and you're gonna hate me for bringing this up, but it just crossed my mm -hmm. mind. Caroline Manzo predicted that I Joe know. was gonna go to jail. Mm -hmm. Prediction, something may happen where maybe someone has to go somewhere. Teresa's gonna have to pull herself up by her bootstraps and take over. She'll say, you know what? I tried, I stood by him, but I have to divorce him now. And I'm gonna show my daughters what it's like to be strong and independent on your own and survive. It's just so sad, like, I guess, cause she, you know, she's lived that crooked life. Like, I've never lived that crooked life. Well, and I guess she has and who she comes from and where she came from. Well, but, but what I'm saying is... That right back at her. No, but what I'm saying is... I know, and my thing is, it's like, how did, could she predict that? Does she have anything to do with what happened to Joe and I? Was she a rat? Do you think that she did? Do you think yeah, she was a rat? Yeah, by her saying that? Why did she say that? Why? I, those words would never come out of my mouth regarding anybody. What, anybody. Do, do you think she called the feds? Why, maybe. You never know. Why would she predict those mm, words? Well, no, I know who went to the feds. I mean, let's just forget okay, that. Okay, but, but what I'm saying is that there, it seems like the prediction could come true. I'm not gonna, you know, I'm not gonna sugarcoat anything. I mean, it's, it's, this is my life. This is, I've been through, I've been through a lot. 
honey. All right, you guys just watched that clip. And I definitely remember that on the show a few years back. So, of course, Carolyn Manzo, straight up talking, she took to her Instagram and she's basically addressing the situation. So, y'all go ahead and check out what Carolyn Manzo had to say. Check this out and I'm going to come back with the rest of my commentary. I don't typically dance and sing this early in the morning, but I have to laugh. <laughs> and I couldn't find the word beautifulest anywhere. I'm sorry, but you'll be hearing from me soon. <laughs> All right, so you guys just heard what Caroline had to say. She basically threw shade at Teresa and said that she will be coming out and speaking soon. So now people have been calling into Andy Cohen's show to kind of confront him about some stuff. And one of the questions they were asking Andy Cohen is, does he regret having Teresa um, and Joe on the show? Does he feel bad? And basically, you know, in typical Andy fashion, he doesn't feel bad. He knows it's for ratings. He's about business. He doesn't give a shit, you know, who he exploits. So he basically said no. Then he went on to say that he, the only thing that he regretted about having them on there is the fact that he did not defend Caroline because at the end of the day, Caroline has never been to jail. She has no criminal record. Basically, Andy was once again being fake because when Teresa was there in his face and Joe was there, well, not in his face, via satellite, he didn't have that same energy. But now that they're not there, now he's taking shots at them to try and defend Carolyn. Fake as hell. Y'all go ahead and check this out. I did regret not saying to Teresa because she said, you know, I mean, she was saying all this horrible stuff about Caroline, but Caroline's never been to jail. Right. Caroline She's has never committed a crime. Um, and if Caroline had done that stuff, she would have politely been like, you know what, I think it's my final season and went away. Because when that stuff happens, you don't keep going well, and then let it listen. You know, also, or maybe you do. I can't, Teresa. I can't I can't fault Teresa for coming back to the show after because also she well, she, need, she needed a paycheck. She needed a job. Yes. Yeah. Um but Caroline is not what a did criminal. she say about Caroline? I brought up, and it just hit me. It was not anything I had planned on asking her, but as I was sitting mm -hmm. there, I realized um, that I remember Caroline making a prediction five years ago. Her prediction was oh. that Joe was going to go to prison, Teresa yeah. was going to get strong and independent, and then she was going to divorce. All right, so you guys just saw what Andy had to say. So a lot of you guys wanted my opinion on all this foolishness, and this is my opinion because I've been a day one watcher, so I remember a lot of stuff that took place on the show. And this is why I always tell people, watch what you sign up for, okay? People be trying to sell their souls to get on to, you know, to become famous, to get onto television, to become musicians and everything else. You cannot sell your soul and then cry later when the devil comes back to collect. Y'all keep thinking I'm playing when I say that. But once again, here goes some more evidence of that playing out before our eyes, okay? Now, I remember when the show first started, like back in like 2000, I don't know, 10, 2012, something like that. The show's been on forever. But I remember Teresa just, you know, just bragging about this lavish lifestyle they had this huge New Jersey mansion she said they built it from scratch she would never ever you know what I'm saying buy a used home because she doesn't know who else's ass was in the tub you know she needed everything built from scratch for her and her family I also remember her buying a really expensive couch and only paying cash you know just buying all types of stuff only paying cash and bragging about only paying cash. So while Teresa was sitting there trying to floss and brag and make you know the average person just working a nine to five feel like shit guess who else was watching her Okay, since so she wanted to high sign and, and you know, floss, the, the feds were also watching her. The government was watching her. And on top of that, you know, people that they owed money to were watching because they're on this show talking about this, you know, extravagant lifestyle they have and all this money that they have. But then they owe so many people, you know, money. They scam people. It was so much shit that came out once they were arrested. So they were basically faking it to make it to get onto this show. And then she knew that the money that she would get back would basically reimburse that image and that lifestyle, but it blew up in their face because they ended up catching criminal charges, okay? One thing I will say positive about the interview is that Joe Judice, he does look good. He slimmed down a lot. He looks healthier, he looks happier. He went through a lot while he was in prison. Um, you know, Teresa, she looks good for her age, you know, especially for having all those kids. She definitely looks good, but I didn't like the fact that neither one of them took any personal responsibility. See, it's easy to blame Caroline. It's easy to blame Jacqueline Larita. It's easy to blame everybody else and have all these conspiracies about who caught the feds on you. But guess what? 
Even if somebody caught the feds on you, if you weren't doing dirt, there'd be no case. And that's the problem is that after all this time, you know, after both of them have done time in prison, neither are taking any personal responsibility for the role that they played to get to where they got, okay? It doesn't make any sense. Nobody forced you to go on the show. Nobody forced you to flaunt you as you know, supposed wealth. Nobody told you guys to do all of this. You guys chose to. And then on top of that, you guys were doing dirt. Joe is her husband, so she clearly knew what her husband was involved in hence why she had to serve time as well so for them to try and blame everybody but themselves that lets me know that they haven't really learned anything from this they haven't really grown from this and I think that's the sad part they should have been apologetic and humble and they need to realize how blessed they are that they still have a damn platform Teresa still has a show you got people out here who have never done no type of dirt, who are trying to do the right thing, who are trying to take care of their families. You know what I'm saying? Don't nobody give them no show. Ain't nobody cutting them no $10,000 per episode checks or $20,000, however much she makes. So it's like in this country, we reward bad behavior, and that's the sad part. Even though she did time, even though she scammed other people, she still has a successful cookbook. She, I think she has like a wine line. You know, she's making money now hand over fist, but she's only able to get to that point because she was on television. So to me, they need to be really humble and be happy that they got to the point where they now can't afford that mansion and their daughters, you know, are not living in a damn soup kitchen. Because if this was just a regular average family, they would have gotten a lot of time and those girls might have ended up in foster care. There'd have been no way for them to just bounce back as quickly. But because she had fame, she was able to bounce back again. So I just don't like the fact that she's still receiving blessings but she's still trying to blame other people for her and her husband's mistakes so that whole situation just didn't sit well with me so anyways y'all let's go ahead and get the discussion popping go ahead and leave a comment let me know your thoughts on this entire crazy situation concerning the judices i think they're gonna be getting divorced because joe he's not coming back to america and she's not moving to italy so they probably will be getting the divorce um i heard that Teresa also has a boyfriend on the low so this entire situation is insane but let's go ahead and get the discussion popping don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Make sure you thumbs up this video and don't forget to hit the notification bell so that way you can be down with the notification squad. Let me know your thoughts on everything and do you agree with me that neither Joe or Teresa are really taking any personal responsibility? They're trying to blame everybody else for their situation as opposed to looking in the damn mirror, okay? You just look right in here, uh -huh. look in there, and you see that you're doing too much. So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. All right, deuces. Deuces.